20, 30, 40, 50, 52, 53, 53, 58. ियल first casually then sort of professionally for almost 3 years uh then got into sort of running the business over here at pride uh took over the live room at the pride in 2010 december okay. so it's been just on just under a decade now with live operation wow you've been yeah. in the industry so we've been, for a while we've been, now. we've been here for a while yeah, that's amazing. uh and i actually stopped playing uh, when i took over sort of running the business okay uh, when i was doing you know just standard don't get high of your own supply makes sense back, sort of run the game as opposed to sort of play okay i've only restarted playing now over the last year okay. um still casually but trying to get a little bit more into it now at least that you know the operations are uh, or the pilot it doesn't require my day to day working so much right. at least on the live business okay um and we know when that challenge got less that's when we sort of got into the online space so bacha is actually a venture of uh, casino pride group and myself okay um sort of it's co-founded so it's not just me at the at bacha right and the idea really was it's an extension of our live platform okay um it was to give Sort of a true click and mortar business, so not just be one or the other. Actually, that's the unique and thing. That's 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 our unique thing, and that's something that uh, we'll always have that competitive advantage. Because while on- online it's easy to open, right. uh, live is extremely restricted. I completely agree. Uh, so that's that, that's the sort of story so far in a in a nutshell. Okay. So that's the reason why live. is always attracting a different audience so it's catering to a different requirement of the audience in online okay. is the reason why live series still do well world over even though online numbers are far greater on our online numbers will always be far greater right i mean be, even for you to come here for you know so for the season for any of the players who come here it's a trek it's, you know it should get into your car it's the drive to the airport in your local city yeah. take a flight to come back here check into a hotel so on so forth as opposed to sitting on your box in your box so what do you think is the future of live uh, poker now because there are restrictions in india right you can only play poker here in bangalore in few right. places north east and that's about it so what do you think uh, is that going to change it should change i mean the idea is that it really is an extension of the law for online <laughs> if i'm allowed to play out of my home in new delhi then i should be allowed to play, play offline as well true So, well, and it's going to be a question of when the stakeholders started pushing through on this. Right. You know, this is still a space and an industry that requires incredible amounts of self-regulation, mm-hmm. and that's what we are doing as well as as an organization. We're part of a bunch of boards which are pushing sort of self-regulation in poker right. uh, at the operator level. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, as you start seeing the stakeholders that have longer-term visions right. and are not looking at just can I make the most money today sure. and how is sort of X, Y, and Z making some and how do I stop that, as opposed to looking at how do I add the A, B, and C? You know, how do I add? So how do I widen the bottom of the curve? Right. And that widening is going to happen with life as well, because that's it's an easier connect. And online is still, it seems easy from the outside. It's still fairly daunting for a new player. Absolutely, um, there's a lot of competition on the back. There's a lot of competition between the. in terms of players as in terms of players yes but even in terms of operators you know there's sort of cost of cost to sort of startup costs is incredibly low yeah it's the maintenance that is expensive but the barriers to entry themselves are actually like it's not the owner space so which is why self regulation is what because it incentivizes bad actors to come in come in and sort of open sites is there a lot of micro sites there's a lot of micro sites that come in they'll sprout they'll sort of run for a bit they'll shut down so the next one will come uh live is is a lot more credible it's a lot more sort of uh, real right. you know you can see what's going on absolutely um, so uh, just to sum it up what would you like to tell the people you know who play on your sites and mm-hmm. other sites online 
and who are on the fence about coming and playing live. You know, they haven't done it before. They, what would you want them to know about live and coming on to the fence? Mm-hmm. There's an experience live that you can just never capture. Okay. There's a there's a camaraderie to the game. The game is yes, it is sort of about sort of outbidding your opponent, but there's so much to outbidding your opponent that just lost on. You know, there's a little physical tells. There's a sort of you know you look left and you look right. Sort of post sort of cards being drawn or action. Uh, you know, so is he looking at sort of his other players raising or is he looking to raise? Is he sort of sort of looking at the ch- checking check check raising ahead? There's so much to live that you can just not sort of. Uh, bring into the online world, and even though I shouldn't say this as sort of an online operator, for me, my so the love of poker has always been online. I still much prefer live. I come in, I play with now, so I play two, three days uh, live a week, and I would still much rather pick that over online, just for sort of that table chat, and, uh, you know, the banter, the sort of. Uh, Seeing somebody uh, fist pump after getting a sort of uh, horrible run through, um, just sort of bad behavior, by, you know, by other players, and then sort of t- taking advantage of it or falling prey to it. True, true. All that you can't sort of do on the online. Platform. I think it's like a mini life in itself. Yeah. Right? there's so much drama. It, it, it is. It is. Right? To me, sort of live poker is the new golf. Like uh, focus in you know, your course. It, it's the way sort of way of conducting negotiations. It's really you're seeing players uh, going through sort of varied emotions. So you really get and you get to see them interact with money. Yeah. Um, so in, it's actually it's sort of the best place for a new business field. Excellent. Excellent. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Martha was there. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you, Raj. Thank you so much.